When most of us think about the lottery, we may think of scratch tickets and dream of winning big. However, the DC Lottery offers more than just a chance encounter with luck. The DC Lottery has a charitable giving fund that reinvests in the community. Here to talk about that is Nicole Jordan from the DC Lottery. Hi there. Hi. Um, thanks for joining us. There are a lot of misconceptions about the lottery. Give us an idea of one of them, and some of them has to do with this giving fund. Yeah, I think um, some of the biggest misconception is one that people at the lottery know the winning numbers, and we, if we did, we would probably not be working <laughs> there anymore. Um, secondly, I think it's where the money goes, that mm -hmm. it just goes to some fund that doesn't actually help the city. So right. for us, we are very excited to be able to let people know when you play DC Lottery, that money goes directly back into the city. So it's what we use to pay for, you know, roads and education. Um, human health and human services, everything that's needed to run this city. So I think that's one of the things we like to say that the lottery is a place that gives back to the city and is tangible immediately. Mm -hmm. Well, how does that work exactly? Because I think people hear, oh, well, kind of it contributes to the roads, but how, do, how exactly does that work? So every year we transfer money back to the general fund. So after, every, after we do prize payouts, everything that is a revenue goes back to the prize fund. So since inception, that's been about $3.1 billion that is going back to roads, education, um, human health services, all the things that's needed to run the city. Okay, can you give us an idea of what type of programs, like for example, for schools or for health? Do you have you know, I mean, an example? So it goes to the general fund. So yeah. when they need to build a building and they need to reconstruct a, a school, the air condition, when they say we're taking money from the general, general fund to pay that, that's how they do that. When they say we need to um, upgrade hospitals, that's where the money comes from. When we need to do road improvements or um, put street lights out or run some of those community programs um, for our youth, all that money comes from the general fund. So in DC, um, in the District of Columbia, the general fund is what funds the, the makings of the organization and of the city. Oh. So that general fund is what pays for everything um, in the city. So. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people know about that because I think, you know, you just have this idea of, oh, it's a scratch ticket, it's a game, and then it just goes back into this big pot of money. Yes. Um, now, what about um, DCL Gives Back? Is that the same idea of, as part of the giving fund? So DCL Gives Back um, is, so when we look at what we do, we believe at DC Lottery that we're part of the community. So I think that's one of another big mis misconception is that we come in and we prey on people and that we're not part of the city. That's right. That is absolutely not what we do. Um, the lottery is a form of entertainment. Our first priority is to make sure that our players are playing responsibly, that they're having a good time with that entertainment. And if that is not occurring, to provide them with the resources that's necessary for that. The second is to make sure that we give out money back to the community. So we have our charitable gaming side, which um, this year I think they did about 75 organizations and they help them raise money for whatever nonprofits they are in the organization. So we've worked with like DC Central's uh, Kitchen, the, the Georgetown Cancer Center, and that allows them to have events so they can raise money and we help them think about how they can raise money on a charitable raise side. Um, the other side of that is we also have our DC Gives Back and what we do is we do community sponsorships. Some of those are in, you know, instrumental to providing funding for arts programs, economic programs in the city so that we are there established in the city to say we are part of the city and if you're having a program and you need a sponsor, we do that. So we've done everything from um, a Step Africa to um, there's a cancer program that we do. So it's a lot of things that we do within the Office of Lottery and Gaming that is not just kind of consumer facing and most of that are the things that people don't know about. Mm -hmm. well, that's the thing. I don't think a lot of people understand exactly how that works. So say for example if you are a nonprofit yep. and they wanted to partner with you in mm -hmm. terms of fundraising. Mm -hmm. How would that work? What would that look like? So there's two parts. If you are a nonprofit and you're thinking you want to do a Monte Carlo night or you want to do a raffle yeah. for fundraising, you work with our charitable game side. They help you get licensed. They tell you the do's and don'ts and some of the best practices in that. And so that's one arm of our gaming side. Um, if you are a nonprofit and you're looking for sponsors for events, then you go to our website and you go ahead and just give us information and we look to see sign of suitability. Um, is that something that we are able to do this year? And some of those range from 
you know, sometimes people want product, which we do not really give lottery <laughs> tickets out. Right. But if you want, you know, $500 sponsorship or sponsorships for us to be on site, we're here to kind of spread our wings in the community. So it's not just selling. A lot of the times that the sponsorships we do are just kind of for us to provide the resources for nonprofits to really um, further their mission as long as it aligns with what we do, which is supporting the District of Columbia. Oh, that's great. And now, are there specific missions that you're more aligned with, or are you pretty flexible? It doesn't just depend. We're pretty flexible. I think what we look at is one that is serving the residents of the District of Columbia. Okay. Um, so that's probably our biggest criteria is that the effort needs to happen within the District of Columbia. Yes. Um, we also look and we've been trying to really be broader with who we sponsor to make mm -hmm. sure that we're touching everyone. So, yeah. you know, if you're a newer nonprofit and it's something that is a mission that you're comfortable with and you have a, a program and you write it up and send that to us, we have a criteria to establish what that looks like. Okay. So we're also looking to have lasting partnerships, so not one-offs. Mm -hmm. So we really look to see, are you growing? Do you have an opportunity? And who are you impacting the most? Um, and we really make sure that we are spread throughout the city. So that's not just in one general area or two. Okay, excellent. So it seems like a lot of people can win with the lottery, even yes. if they don't have the winning numbers. So lots of people <laughs> win DC lottery. The city wins, okay. yeah. uh, the person who plays wins. Yes. And so that's what we always say. Okay, wonderful. Nicole Jordan with the DC lottery, thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. I really appreciate you it. You as well.